If I hire a professional photographer, they're the experts, I'm not, and that's where this comes in. Wait until you see this amazing trick. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your own prompt generator, AKA a prompt that produces prompts. In other words, I'll show you how to turn ChatGPT into a prompt engineering machine. If you already consider yourself a prompt engineer or a prompt pro, then this video may not be for you. You may already be familiar with or know how to create methods like I'm about to share today, or you may actually do them a little bit better, which is great, but do keep it mind that this video and this method I'm showing is going to be for those who are just starting out or who really want to learn how to dive into turning chat GPT into a prompt engineering machine. So what exactly is a prompt generator? Subscribe. Let me give you a quick example. So if we head over to my new prompt generators database in which I'll include links in the description so you can access this as well. Check the links in the description. So if I open one up and expand them, you can actually see what the whole prompt generator looks like. Okay. We have some that are going to be long and then we have some that are going to be much much shorter but each of these prompts turns any llm into a massive prompt engineering machine basically allowing you to essentially never need prompts again especially when you can learn the basics of turning chat gpt into your own personal prompt generator all you do is simply copy and paste any of these prompts and paste them into any llm now there are prompt generators for any category for example we have a lot of these that will generate prompts prompts for AI images, content creation, SEO, social media, etc. But for today, we'll be using one that's purpose is specifically to generate the most realistic cinematic style AI images. Like me. Okay, so here is a quick example of how this can work. Now remember, every single prompt I'm sharing today will be completely free and accessible via the links in the description. Okay, so here is the first one. And I want to just use this prompt just to give you a quick example. However, even though this one looks small, this one is incredibly powerful. It's going to allow me to create prompt generators or prompts that create prompts for basically any sort of subject I'm needing. So let's come in here and then copy this whole entire thing just like this. Now you can notice the key thing at the very end is what you're going to do when you use this is you're going to replace anything that is in this bold bracketed text with your own. Here it is right here. I have the whole entire thing pasted. You can see here it is. I will state what I want and you will engineer a prompt that will yield the best results. Now remember, you may think I'm going through this very quickly right now but that's the whole point. Right now, I just want to provide you with an example of how this specifically works. Then we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you exactly how to create one from A to Z. Okay, so here we go. At the very end, you can see here is the prompt I want. My desired prompt, a prompt that will generate a marketing copy that will increase conversions. Now remember, you could put anything else that you want here. For an example, you could say a prompt that will generate beautiful looking, realistic images of supercars, anything, and it's going to do it. Okay, here are five optimized prompts designed to generate a marketing copy that will increase conversions. There's prompt one, and then we go all the way down to prompt two, three, four, and five. It's going to give us as many as we want, especially if we keep asking ChatGPT, please provide five more, 10 more, etc. But here we go. You find one that you like, then you could use this as a prompt to put in ChatGPT within a separate chat. You're gonna get that specific marketing copy that you were wanting. So there's a quick example on how you could see that a prompt generator works. So let's go ahead and then start this process. We'll begin with step one. And so the first step is basically just asking yourself, what exactly do you need? What do you want? Do you need prompts that will help you generate images? Do you want prompts that will help you improve your SEO? Anything that you want, in mind, that's where you begin with this process. Okay, so since we know what we want, we want some real life looking cinematic photography type of images based off of our prompts. It's important to know the specific language used when it comes to providing it with specific cameras, lenses, different camera settings. That is where these LLMs come in handy. Again, I want to show you how to craft the best possible prompt. This example right here, you could see I'm over here and I'm asking ChatGPT, I need to create some realistic looking professional photo style images. What sort of cameras would you recommend I use? That will do the trick. However, look at this method right here with this specific prompt. And now again, with this prompt, remember, I will also share this one in the description as well. So this is where we can start our beginning process, okay? You will take on the role as the ultimate prompt enhancer for prompts that create AI images for tools like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, Dali, and Leonardo. Now, why do I use this specific terminology? Well, that's because the first sentence I want to provide chat GPT is that I want to label them what they are. I want them to know what the 
purpose of this is. So that's why I told them the ultimate prompt enhancer. Then my second thing is, what's my purpose for? AI images specifically for these tools. Now, anything that can help guide it in presenting the best prompts for you is always gonna be helpful. And you could take the simplest prompts and then 10X them. That's what's also important. So any prompt I might provide these LLMs, we want ChatGPT or Claude to know that, listen, 10X these please, but I want you to provide your best work. In order to do this, please tell me what details I should provide you with in order to create the most amazing prompts. Once you give this to the AI, it's gonna tell you what sort of details are gonna be helpful. Then this is where the magic comes into play. So let's go ahead and then start this first step. Okay, so remember, here it is. Here is the first portion of the prompt right here, the one that we just went over. Go ahead and hit that send button, and now look what it says. To craft the best possible prompts for AI image generation, okay, here are some details you need to enhance your prompt. Subject and theme, details of the subject, etc. So listen, this is going to be helpful. It's going to provide all the details we need, but why go through the headache of trying to figure all of this out ourselves? That's where AI comes in handy, which then leads us to our next step. After the AI tells you, then ask this question. Can you please provide me with an example of each tip that you just listed? Okay, so let's just do that. There's my question. Please provide me with an example of each tip that you just listed. And then there it has it. Subject and theme, basic prompt, a futuristic city. Enhanced prompt, a sprawling neon lit cyberpunk cityscape at night with towering skyscrapers, etc. You get the drift. So it's going to give you, based off of each bullet point, subject and theme, details of the subject, pose and action, environment or setting, color palette, perspective, mood, tone. The list goes on and on, giving you some thorough details of what you need. I could come in here and copy and paste each sentence from all 11 of these bullet points and craft our own prompt. That will work just fine because you're going to get some great details. However, again, that's too much work. So let's let ChatGPT do even more work for us. And then that is where this prompt provides us for one more step. Final step below, based on this concept you provided, okay, there's an example, a lone wolf howling at the moon. Please provide me with a full example of everything that you just shared. Okay, so let's go ahead and then copy this portion right here and now paste that in to the bottom of the conversation. I'm gonna go ahead and then remove the bracketed text because that's just there to serve as a purpose. But then here is the last step. Now provide me with a full example of everything that you just listed. So that way, instead of myself having to copy and paste each different bullet point, I'm gonna allow ChatGPT to just do everything for me. And it's doing it based off of each single bullet point. So for an example, details of the subject, clothing, accessories or props, okay? It's gonna give me all of these examples. And then the most important thing is just to wait until the very end, because you may be saying to yourself, it's just doing the same exact thing it did before. No, it's not. It's gonna go through each one, give you examples again for each one, but then look at the final product at the very end. This is incredible. So it basically took everything I provided it, every detail it provided me, and now it gives us this incredibly long, fully detailed prompt right here, final enhanced prompt. When I zoom in and you just look at the specific prompt, you can see, look at this, some of these adjectives, bioluminescent, shimmering particles of magic, the color palette is dominated by deep purples, blues, and silver silver, creating a dark yet vibrant magical atmosphere, okay? Then right here, it tells me the camera captures the scene from a low angle, focusing sharply on the sorceress, her powerful magic, etc. It's going to give me details I could have only dreamt about. Okay, so moving on, let me give you another example, and it's actually a method you could use as well. After this one, then we're going to tie it all up and then create our very own from scratch based off of all the details we just got. What we're going to do is tell the LLM exactly what they are. Again, Again, you are a prompt engineering machine, the absolute best creator that generates the most incredibly realistic prompts, that creates the most amazing blah blah blah. Lots of words. However, what if you weren't needing cinematic images? You would say something else like, you are a prompt engineering machine, the absolute best creator that generates the most incredible content or blog post and irresistible stories or headings that I want to use on social media platforms or blog for my website. You know the best adjectives the best interesting phrases, the most fun 
one style type of writing, anything like that, just based off of what you need. Here is the ticker when it comes to this specific prompt. So in the beginning, I know what I want, but let's come right down here. Again, I don't know what cameras to use. This is where ChatGPT will fill the void. You know the absolute best cameras to use, lenses and lighting, that would make Hollywood proud. So here I go. Considering all the above, please provide me with some of the characteristics, keywords, cameras, and styles I should use to ensure I get the most realistic cinematic style image from my prompts. Please consider camera types, angles, lighting, adjectives, etc. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. And now for this one, let's go ahead and then give Claude a shot. Okay, so once Claude is done, here we go. We get our camera types, high-end digital cinema cameras. Okay, we have specific lenses. We have different lighting styles we could use, different techniques. It's giving us things that we didn't know before, but now we do know now. Now. And then right over here, notable directors and cinematographers. So what we're going to do next is choose some adjectives or styles that you want. Then that's where at the very end, we're going to combine all this data that we got into one large prompt. And that is basically what I have been doing for months or years with this actual Leonardo AI mega prompts database. So as I scroll down, you could see tons of prompts. Again, I add new prompts to this one every day as well. But up at the top, I have what's called unique keywords. Okay. So these are going to be some exceptional sort of keywords to use in your prompts to get some amazing style looking images. How on earth would I describe what sort of an image I need to get this result? These images are fantastic. What would I use for this one? I've been keeping a collection of some of the best unique keywords, some of the best artists. For an example right here, I have like Tyler Shields, Peter Lick. Okay. Images like Peter Lick look like this. Scrolling all the way down, then you could see where I've been keeping a lot of collections when it comes comes to actual cameras. So we have Sony Alpha 1, Zeiss Master Prime, Canon RF, and the list goes on. So keeping a running list is so incredibly helpful. And where this is going to come into play is at the very end, we're taking our collection of data to use in one massive prompt. And so with that said, let me just show you what the final result will actually look like. Here is the massive prompt I got as the final result. This is based off of all of the information that I just got from all of these LLMs, okay? I just basically combined everything I got from prior prompts and now I have everything I was needing. Here are all my different camera types, my lenses, my lighting techniques, aperture rates, ISO, shutter speeds, angles, everything in one massive prompt. Okay. Now, before we do that one, let me show you one more example right here. And this may be one of my new favorites. Here's a prompt right here. Imagine you are shooting a professional magazine cover shoot for Vogue magazine. Okay. So we're basically letting chat GPT or Claude know exactly what they are. It's your job to provide your recommendations for the best cameras to use, lenses, camera settings like aperture, ISO, etc. It's your job to provide recommendations. Listen, I'm hiring you to be my photographer. You tell me what I need. You tell me what cameras to use. You tell me the lenses, the settings, the aperture. If I hire a professional photographer, I'm not bringing the cameras. They bring their cameras. They bring their lighting. They bring their techniques. They bring their settings. They're the experts. I'm not. And that's where this comes in, okay? You need to also provide names of some of the most talented photographers in the world for taking some of the best photos. Give me a full, detailed, and thorough list of all your recommendations that I can use in order to take the most incredible, clear, crisp, ultra photos. And now we'll open up a new chat and we'll use ChatGPT for this one. And now let's paste this in. And then here it is. We have the best cameras for magazine shoots. Phase one, the House of Bat, H6D, Sony A1, Canon, EOS R5, okay? And then we have our lens recommendations, okay? It's still going going, that's because there's a lot of details. But what I love about this is that for every camera, for every lens and setting it gives us, it gives us the pros of using these. Here are some good recommendations for aperture, for ISO, shutter speed, white balance, focus mode, even lighting setups, and then again, talented photographers to draw inspiration from. So now we have exactly everything that we need in order to create this big, massive prompt in which again, this is the kind of prompt that we're looking for. Okay. So now we have all the examples. I showed you how to get the exact details you need. Let's put our own prompt together from scratch. It's going to be incredibly easy because all we're going to do is just copy and paste from the other prompts we got from the LLMs. Okay. So here we are. Now we're going to completely start from scratch and then make our own prompt from A to Z. It's all going to be about just giving chat GPT the instruction. Remember, treat it like a contractor. You're the boss. You're hiring them for a job. Okay. You are a prompt engineering expert machine. 
Okay, the absolute best creator that generates the most incredibly realistic prompts. You know the absolute best cameras to use, lenses, and lighting to create the best cinematic realistic images. You know the best artists and cinematographers. Here are some key characteristics, keywords, camera settings, and stylistic references for you to use and consider when creating my prompts. Okay, that's gonna be the next step. So let's go ahead and enter in a new paragraph. This is where we can come back to our first prompt over here in Claude, okay? And remember, it gave us all these details right here. So check this out. What you can do now is you can just copy all of this information that you got from Claude if you wanted to, and you could paste it into that mega prompt that we're using in Canva. Okay. That's one way to do it. But then what you could also do is come back over here into the chat GPT one that we also have. Now this might be my favorite because there are so many amazing details from this simple prompt that we got from chat GPT where we're asking it, give me all of your recommendations. Chat GPT is our contractor. Let's go ahead and just simply copy every single single thing that it gave us. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Now we're back over here in Canva. Now, the only reason I'm using Canva, you could use Google docs, Microsoft word, whatever, just somewhere to start jotting down your notes or specific prompts. I like Canva docs. Now I pasted the whole entire thing in there. There is all of that massive information. Now you might be saying to yourself, look at this. This is way too large of a prompt. That is a lot of information. Now that's true. It is, but remember, this is just our brainstorming session in our docs. Okay. Go through some of the different details and adjectives and then delete the ones that you don't need and keep the ones that you want. So for an example, if I'm going through these right here, let's just take a look to make sure there's no redundancy. Okay. So if I can look at these camera angles, I can think to myself, okay, uh, maybe just like the first few options are good. Let's get rid of the Nikon. No problem. Lens recommendations. Let's scroll down here and uh, let's get rid of uh, these bottom two. So now we're going to make our prom a little bit shorter. This is just some examples, but it's important to do this if there are any recommendations that you feel aren't really necessary, I'll remove the ISO completely. I'll leave the aperture and I'll also remove the shutter speed, white balance, and uh, I'll remove the focus mode. I don't think I really need that. I'm still going to get some good looking images. So now we're making things much more simpler. Now we have this information right here. So I have everything from camera recommendations, lenses, camera settings, aperture examples, and then I have the talented photographers. We have all of our details in there, but now we need to install instruct chat GPT or the contractor of exactly what to do. So if we come back over here into this huge prompt right here, let's scroll down to the very bottom. Again, there's all my details. It's as simple as this. Look, please provide me with five prompts based off of my subject. I provide you your first question. What is your subject about? Just copy that portion. Okay, we're gonna come back over here into Canva and we're gonna paste this in and then it is now pasted in. Give me five prompts based off of my subject. Okay, now we are ready to go. Let's copy this whole entire large prompt right here and now we are going to come over into ChatGPT open up a completely new chat, paste this whole entire thing in, hit that send button, and now watch this. What is the subject you like to create these hyper-realistic, cinematic, detailed prompts around? Okay, let's come up with something. A fitness model woman. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit that send button. Now watch this. Here are five highly detailed prompts for creating these ultimate cinematic images. We have prompt one, okay? Notice the details of the prompt. It's giving us everything we want, okay? The details, high energy workout. We have dramatic overhead lighting in a dark industrial gym. Then the important aspects of it shot with a phase one XF IQ4 camera using a Canon RF 85 millimeter F 1.2 L lens. Okay. For stunning background separation and sharp detail, every single prompt we're going to get is going to be just that very detailed and specific. Okay. Let's go ahead and test one out before we wrap this up. Let's just go ahead and go with this first one right here. Then we're going to head over into mid journey and let's go ahead and then paste this entire prompt in there. We have that. Now we have three prompts to choose from. Let's go to mid journey and see exactly what we got. That is fantastic. Look how amazing this one looks in mid journey. We also have this one right here, this one right here, and this one right there. Fantastic job. Okay. What did Grok do for us? There is one for Grok. That looks phenomenal. And now free pick mystic, man, look at that free pick mystic one. It is definitely amazing. And then I also did it in flux realism as well. Again, fantastic here as well. Now, remember, I have links in my description to access all these prompts completely for free. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out.